10 cutoff wheels later, I've got all the metal frames for the windows cut and I still need to weld on tabs which will have the holes in them for the bolts to go through. There are sharp corners on each of the windows for the pilot house and corners elsewhere on the boat that I will be rounding out. I'm going to round out these corners today because I want to seal up the boat for the winter. That's what I've been focusing on mostly. So I'm just going to grind away the paint. I'm going to weld a few beads in here, grind that down flat, and it should be as simple as that. Here's the weld bead. And then ground down. Just got done using the grinder with a sanding disc on it. And now all I do is dip some boiled linseed oil on a brush, dab it around, and then coat it thoroughly. Spreads nicely, super easy to do. And there's what they look like after they've got the linseed oil on them. These are all scrap pieces of plywood as well. So here's how everything goes together. We've got the metal frame, the wood frame behind it, and then the window, plexiglass or acrylic. And then this is what it looks like from the outside. I think what I'll do is paint that side of the wood and leave the inside just coated with the linseed oil. I was going to install all of these along with their acrylic, but then I realized I'll just have to take them all off when I paint the final color, so I'll just put a tarp over this for the winter. To seal it against the water, I'm just using some weather stripping. It's real small. It's eighth inch by quarter of an inch. I've seen people use the 5200 and the Cicaflex and all that, and it leaks within a year. I don't know how well this will hold up, but I'm going to at least try it. It's very simple to work with. It's pretty easy to make these curves, actually. So I'm going to try it out. I'll let you know how it works, but of course, that's a ways away. These are the plywood pieces that go in the V-berth. And as you can see, I've got all kinds of welding splatter burns on them. So I'm re-sanding them. This is what it looks like after I remove all the burns. You can almost get everything. And then all I'm doing is using the grinder with the sanding disc, and then I'm flattening it out with the belt sander. That's it for boat building. Since the last video, I didn't get a lot done because I've been working on so many other projects. But I'm going to refocus on the boat, so I should be making a lot more progress when I show the next video about a month from now. Till next time, have a great day.